As a pastor, a number of years ago, I think probably four or five years ago, I got a call to come to the hospital because we had a, um, a young couple in our church who uh, went in to have their firstborn. And the family had uh, been called to gather. It was going to be a great celebration, but the baby was stillborn. Mm. And um, I, I went in uh, to the hospital to, to visit them and try to encourage them. And, and the first room I went into, the mother was lying in the bed, surrounded by some family and friends. And, and I was pointed to the room next door where the father was in a rocking chair, you know, holding the lifeless body of his baby girl, wrapped up in a blanket, in a rock, rocking chair, saying goodbye. And, and as you know, there's just no words to say in those moments. And I, I sat with him for a few minutes and I, I knelt down to pray for him. And as I was praying in the room next door where the, the mother, wife was with some of the family, I, I started to hear them singing, uh, How Great Is Our God. And I, I sat there and my ears couldn't quite make sense of it. And, and they, they sang it with more conviction. I don't, I don't think they knew they, the verses because they just kept singing the chorus, How Great Is Our God, How Great Is Our God, How Great, our, how great Is Our God. And, um, and I... I was struck by the difference faith makes in not giving up. You can't talk yourself into that. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't come from an inner strength. That comes from spiritual strength. That, that is God-given power in a desperate moment. I walked out of the hospital room to give the family some time, and there were three nurses standing in the hallway, and they, they, you could see in their eyes that they, they well, two of them were not sure what to make of the whole thing, right? But there was one of them who had this look on her face and we looked at each other and she knew that I knew and I knew that she knew because that's God's power. That's, that's, not, that's not something you can explain of human will.